All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, so as you can tell, I'm not in my usual working environment. That's because I'm in England at the moment, in sunny Yorkshire, Costa del Yorkshire. And um, it's very early in the morning. Uh, and I don't want to wake anyone up, so uh, I won't be shouting and bawling in this video. All right, so hopefully we don't have to mention um, a certain Italian journalist, for example, because you know what happens when we do that. All right. Um, so uh, just a little update regarding uh, Darwin Nunes. Now, there was, you know, uh, reports yesterday, information yesterday that said he was in Barcelona. Um, he was then photographed in Disneyland, so uh, in Paris. So uh, there were many, you know, uh, follow-up comments to that on, on the internet, uh, various you know, outlets or whatever, saying, oh, he was never in Barcelona, he, he's in France, kind of thing. However, the Spanish media are doubling down and saying he was in Barcelona, uh, and um, and then subsequently went to France. You know, I mean, it's like, well, I don't know, what, Barcelona to, to Paris, what would be that, like an hour's flight or something like that, an hour and a half, something like that. So, um, I don't know. I, quite frankly, I don't care uh, where he is, where he was. Um, but I would um, just be careful because um, I believe he was in Barcelona. That's my opinion. Uh, and I believe um, then he headed up to, um, up to Paris um, with his pal. But, um, yeah, I don't think it really fucking matters, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of to and fro in I've seen between different journalists arguing over, no, he wasn't, yes, he was, no, he wasn't, yes, he was. And we've got a picture of him at the airport and we've got a picture of him at Disney. It's just like, I don't know. So you might have seen some confusion over that. Um, there were claims yesterday. I don't think these were mentioned in my uh, my video yesterday. Um, that George uh, Mendes uh, of the Just a Few Agency, he said to be offering him around you know, uh, has spoken to Barcelona saying, you know, look, would you be interested kind of thing, uh, subject to this, that and the other. Um, you know, obviously they've got financial uh, problems over there. Um, and again, that sparked a debate as to whether that might actually be happening. Um, Liverpool have worked with just a few, um, you know, as I've told you for many years. Um, but, to, you know... <laughs> I think they've got a good relationship with just a few, but you know, at the end of the day, Mendes is representing Darwin Nunes, not Liverpool Football Club. So it is his job to um, to make inquiries and to to see. So we often hear of the term, you know, agent offers X or client to whoever. I don't imagine it being a very formal thing. I think it would be more of an informal inquiry conversation. You know, like. You know, maybe Darwin, you know, maybe it's time for him to move on if there's an opening here, that kind of thing. So, uh, again, I do believe um, that Mendes um, will be doing that. Yeah, that's what I think. So, um, but to be honest with you, you know, I've been thinking quite a bit about the the Nunes taking down the Liverpool pictures from his, uh, from his Instagram. And it started to annoy me a little bit, actually. Um, yeah, it started to anger me a little bit, uh, you know, and I know there's been suggestions of death threats and shit like that, I get death threats all fucking time, you know, I'm not paid fucking like that, you can say anything, well, you do say anything you want anyway, um, <laughs> but I, I, I don't know if that's just fans, you know, like, just trying to make something out to make it sound better and to get a bit of sympathy for him because I haven't seen Darwin Nunes um, make those claims. I haven't seen Liverpool Football Club make those claims. Um, you know, the gossip from within the club is that uh, he has been advised before to, you know, look away from from criticism if you like. Um, but for you know, for a player that you know. If, 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 for example, he had received death threats to his family, his wife or whatever, um, they certainly haven't removed their um, social media accounts, removed photographs of uh, him playing for Uruguay. It's just the Liverpool stuff. And I explained yesterday as to why I think that would be, uh, why he would remove the Liverpool stuff. So, but I don't know. It's just got on my tits a bit yesterday. I was just saying, oh, fuck. I, I don't know, guys. I mean... <laughs> It's a really good way of um, attracting sympathy and support. 
And that doesn't necessarily mean that a player would be behind that. Um, you know, we all need sympathy and support sometimes. Even those big, you know, aging, overweight men need an arm around us sometimes. Um, but, you know, footballers have a way of um, playing the media, playing the fans. Um, I was going to go into some examples, but I won't bother. But, you know, it can be, for all, for all we know, you know, the agent could have said, take that down, makes it look a bit dramatic, gets you in the papers, makes clubs think this, that and the other. You might be available, you know. Uh, there's all sorts of things that go on that you wouldn't believe in football. Um, I don't think that um, Darwin Nunes is faced by anyone threatening him, if it even happened. We know that you get people on the internet saying ridiculous things, but the social media networks never take them seriously, do they? They don't do anything. Um, I remember years ago, um, on Facebook, um, actually I don't even want to tell you about it in case you, in case it upset you, but let's just say that I saw something, um, involving animals, very young animals, not sexual, but just cruelty. And, um, um, barbaric, awful uh, video clip that was on Facebook and uh, I, I reported it, you know, and they replied saying it doesn't, doesn't break uh, guidelines. And if you saw what I saw, you would be, what are you talking about, right? Um, it was a deliberate act and it was horrendous. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, they just, they don't care. Do you know what I mean? And then once, uh, I think it was last year, I'd uploaded a photograph to my own personal account on Facebook many, many years ago, maybe 10 years prior to uh, Facebook um, suspending or temporary blocking me or whatever the fuck they did. Uh, and it was a, a picture of a puppy in the national newspapers and on the TV, sorry, I'm looking at the TV over there, um, a, a puppy in England, um, that was black and white with a patch and a little black bit there and looked like a certain German um, mentalist, right? But it was cute, it was like, if you go on Google Images and put puppy that looks like, you know, I don't even wanna say the name in case my video gets flagged. Uh, you know, very infamous dictator with a little moustache puppy that looks like that and, and go, go to google images black and white it was just a cute little picture this dog poor dog looks like such and such and i remember putting it on my facebook and they they came back to me we, you know, suspended me something about hate material goes against our community guideline but then you know it's just the social media networks are horrendous they're awful they offer no protection or nothing and um you know players shouldn't be getting hated on um, I saw some shit yesterday, like, I have Reddit, right, um, you know, the, I have the app Reddit on my phone, and I get notifications all the time for different communities, I've only got it for porn, right, and, not even joking, and I get, sometimes get Liverpool-related notifications, and there's a Liverpool FC Reddit, right, and this one notification comes said it, it's, it's time that we collectively, as Liverpool supporters, start being nice to each other. Darwin Nunes shouldn't be subjected to this. All wishy-washy, sounds lovely stuff that we would all agree with, right? The message is fine. But the reality is, the world is full of scummy people, right? In your neighbourhood, maybe, in your town, your county, your country, the continent, the world. There are some awful, vile people out there and no amount of like fucking high-fiving each other and cuddling each other is ever going to change that ever because people can be vile and i've been on the receiving end of it many many times over the years and i'm not talking just about nasty little comments on a fucking stupid youtube video you know there's people like that so 
yeah, it's all very nice saying, let's, you know, let's all be nice to each other. I agree with that. We should be nice to each other. There was someone in here yesterday in the comments saying shit to someone. Uh, just why? Do you know what I mean? So I got rid of that clown. Didn't offend me, but I'm not having them offend you either. So if I see it, I'll fucking have them, guys. You know, I have a zero, zero, zero tolerance for hate or stupidity on here, apart from our own stupidity. Um, someone suggested it. Are you on glue? What? Do you know, did I even read the rest of it? It's fucking gone. You can never, we'll never see his comments again. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I am thick skinned. I've got a lot of skin, trust me. Um, especially following some of the weight loss I've achieved. <laughs> um, but I ain't got time for it. I won't allow it. So you know, if I was running these social media networks, no one would get away with that kind of stuff. But come on. The professional footballers, you've got fucking, you know, snotty teenagers and fucking old men that live on their own that are bitter and fucking, you know, you know, in life. And they just run the mouse. Then it's never going to change. Ever in a million fucking years. There's people all over the world lopping people's heads off and all that. Well, do you think it's going to, people are going to stop being uh, unkind to each other? It's just ridiculous. Nice thought, but it's not going to happen, kids. Uh, anyway, ranting over, I think. Um, I'm, 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 I don't know. I can't give a fuck about Darwin, to be honest with you. I hope he turns it round. I hope he becomes a, an amazing, fantastic, as Brendan Rogers would say, player. But I won't hold your fucking breath. Uh, anyway, so that's that. So, despite reports to the contrary, I do believe that Darwin Nunes was in Barcelona yesterday. Um, because I do have access, probably more than the average person, to certain Spanish stuff with me living there. Um, and I do... Um, what was the other thing, guys? I can't remember. Oh, uh, his agent, Mendes. I do believe Mendes is is, um, is out and about, just like... Sounding people out, stuff like that. That's his job, right? My eyes are sore again, aren't they? Uh, it is early morning, like... Uh, yeah, so... I'll leave that with you. It doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not really interested. But just in case you heard the, uh, you know, the different claims, uh, I certainly didn't, you know, go with uh, Darwin Nunes. He's in Barcelona because here's a picture of him with a Barcelona player. No, not at all. I went with the Spanish media. Uh, and, um, yeah. There's other bits and pieces we could mention, but we'll leave it for now. All right. So, um, if you appreciate this video, please give me a thumbs up don't mean you agree with me please drop me a comment if you want to buy me a coffee or a beer it would be amazing hit the super thanks button i'll give you a shout out in my morning briefings i always do that i've done today's yesterday already um in this morning's briefing uh in the video description you can join the newsletter um you can join our free chat room uh, as well uh, which is super cool um all the social media stuff is in the uh, the video description. The list of uh, people that have bought me a beer and a coffee, that needs updating desperately. Uh, and if you want to become a partner with me on my new YouTube channel, uh, Fabrizio Nositolio, uh, which will be, uh, get, well, I'll be getting stuck into that when I get back home. Uh, that information is in the video description as well. Or you can just be a supporter of the channel and the social media for him, all right? Uh, right, guys, I need to... Um, to crack on and do a little bit more work now um hope you're okay please um do uh, you know leave me a comment the comments get me through the day to be honest with you um i'm constantly watching what you've got to say i read every comment um good and bad and what was the other thing yeah if there's anything you think that we need to be discussing or or whatnot you know always drop a suggestion in the um in the comments all right guys uh i'll speak to you soon